Um, bra, 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 a workbench, bra. What does this do? Clicking user recognition, user identity confirmed. Begin train. Welcome, Edith Katarna. Is one recently accepted for training here? Oh, okay. Well, spoilers. I've been accepted for training here at the academy. It's important you fully understand the many paths now available to use as servant of the light. Continue. <clears throat> Jedi guardians train for battle and physical prowess. In contrast, Jedi consulars. Consulars seek to master the awesome power of the Force. Jedi Sentinels seek to find a balance between these two extremes. Um, I believe uh, Bastilla is a Sentinel. <clears throat> Show me a statistical comparison of all three classes. Guardian is 10 vitality, 4 force points per level. Consular is 6 vitality, 8 force points per level. <laughs> Sentinel is 8 vitality and 6 force points per level. Um, tell me more about the Jedi Guardian. Jedi Guardians battle against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus on combat training and masterful use of the lightsaber. Force points level slow skill progression, fast feet progression. Okay, I could get into that. Um, tell me more about the Jedi Consular. Jedi Consulars seek to bring balance to the universe. They focus less on physical combat, more on mental discipline in order to augment their mastery of the Force. Uh, blah, 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 six vitality, slow skill progression, slow feet progression. Okay. Uh, Jedi Consulars gain the force focus feet automatically. This feat makes it harder for opponents to resist their force, po force powers. Uh, sorry, I don't know if it gave me more information. Oh, Jedi Guardians gain the force jump feet automatically. This feat allows them to instantly close the distance and attack opponent within 10 meters. That's not bad. Jedi Sentinels ferret out deceit and injustice, bringing them to light. They strike a balance between the physical and mental disciplines of the Jedi Order. Uh, average skill progression, slow feet progression. Jedi Sentinels gain the Jedi immunity feet automatically. This makes them immune to fear. Oh, man. I don't know. Oh, I feel like I want to be a Jedi Guardian. I feel like Guardian sounds the best. It sounds the most optimal. Plus, it's fast feet progression. Slow skill progression. Who cares? Fast feet progression. Ah. So you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are <gasps> it's here. It's Yoda! We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. What's up, bro? With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Uh... Isn't, isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Yes. The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Hmm. Uh, what do you want from Fastela me? Fastela tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. According to the system, I've already been approved. <clears throat> strong in the Force? Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this woman. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Uh, I'm willing to try my best. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain okay, little Revan Yoda man. is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. 
This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebonhawk and leave you to your deliberations. It's so weird seeing another Yoda. There's not many of them. Yoda's the only one I've seen, other than this one and the and the one in the Mandalorian. But there's supposed to be like a rare force-sensitive race or something in that. <clears throat> Ugh, I'm tossing and turning. Ugh. I remember. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. It's kind of cringe. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall. And for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? I had a rough night. You got it. All right, uh, no Bastila. All right, we're gonna take our friends Karth. Karth, you can come with us. I'm gonna bring T3M4 as well, so we can we can we can seem especially Star Wars. That's what I want. Come on, guy. Well, I could have brought the Wookiee, I guess. That would have made me feel seem really Star Wars. Like to be honest, I would have seemed especially Star Wars if I did that. Uh, Karth, you have Power Blast, right? There you go. How do you feel about that? What do you think of this? That's really strong, Mark. Alright, anyways. Uh, we're done. I could buy some shit. Uh, hmm... Okay. Believe it or not, I just got finished playing, recording a Smash Bros. episode. Okay, let's go shopping. Um, 8-1. How does that fare? Oh, I can't afford that. I thought I could. Damn it. Okay. Alright, so I'm choosing here between a retinal combat implant, which I might already have, and an Arcanian energy shield. Um... I have to check my other party members to see if one of them has a retinal combat implant. Hmm, he does. Oh wait, I already have an Arcanian energy shield as well. Uh, mm, I don't know. It's a bit much. I don't know that I need it. Uh, so we'll look at droid parts here. Um, see, this is confusing for me because. The heavy plating requires a droid upgrade, upgrade class of 1, and it offers the highest defense bonus of 9. Um, but we have light plating type 3, which requires upgrade class 3, but just has less defense. The heavy plating is more... Ex actually, I can't afford the heavy plating to begin with, so that's definitely something to, to note. But why wouldn't I just get the heavy plating you know hmm if I had enough money like it, it seems weird the upgrade class thing necessary is only one like I could just easily get heavy plating it would be the best 
if I just had enough money, and then I wouldn't even need to upgrade the class of the droid. It's kind of confusing to me. Um, but yeah, uh, the highest we can buy here is l actually, I don't know that we can use upgrade three. Um, let me just check real quick. I don't think we can. Uh,. Yeah, we're only class two, so the best we could hope for is a uh, class two plating, um, which we currently have light plating two already. I don't think that we'll be able to get anything for a droid then. Let me just double check. We have plating type two, which is defense four, medium is defense four. Would it be better to have medium plating? Alright, now I'm, like, should I just get the medium plating? Type 1? Because the defense bonus is exactly the same. But it requires less of an upgrade class. And it's not like it lists any sort of... Detriment here, you know? Whereas the, the, the detriment that would be obvious is, like, a weight requirement. Like, it's more weight, so your movement speed is less. But since it's not explicitly telling me that that's a thing i don't know if it is you know what i mean like that would be the downside that i could think of which would mean the light plating type 2 is probably better than the light the medium plating type 1 I don't know. I, I'm looking through the manual and I don't, like, the manual doesn't seem to offer too much extra that's not in the game. Like, I literally looked up the attributes stuff to see if they give me more information about, like, intelligence and what that does, but it says exactly the same thing that it says in game, so I don't really know what to make of that. <laughs> If weight is like a thing or movement speed, it's like a kind of a hidden attribute that's not really explicitly stated. And I haven't noticed any differing movement speeds. So, I mean, if anyone at all is watching this and can tell me that information, that'd be great to know. Because otherwise I'm just kind of confused and I don't really know why I would want medium plating over light plating. Like, medium plating type 2 would be better than light plating, and obviously heavy plating type 2 would be better than light plating type 2, but... Um, I don't know, am I making any sense here? I hoped I'd be making sense. Um, I... I mean, it's possible it lowers reflex, because those three stats are... Okay, maybe I should look in the manual for those three things, because I don't understand those at all. Um, this actually is a very big manual. I don't know, it's not very obvious where it would even be in the manual. Okay, as for droid items, I think an environment shield level 1 would actually be pretty useful, or a security interface tool. Could I get both? That would be 800, I can get both. I'm gonna get both. All right, so we got a computer probe and a security interface tool. And then for this, um, we've got the energy shield but this one provides even more stuff. Oh, but this is 30 points of energy, isn't it? As opposed to... Let's just go with the environment shield, level one for now. And uh, I think that's all we really need. Um, so we'll just move on with our day. Uh, I just recorded Smash Brothers. Um, I was thinking... 
Oh, I do want to actually change my party. I think that was a good idea, what I said before, actually using Zalbar here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Um. Yeah, I was almost thinking, like, maybe I should... I should do it for longer. At the same time, I'm like... Those episodes already kind of take a lot out of me, so... Like, I did do the Kirby episode for, like, an hour. I don't feel like it was getting better, but at the same time, I do kind of need more time to, like... I need to do warm-ups for sure. I just haven't... I haven't done it. Um, and it, it takes so long in between each, each episode. I don't know. I don't want to fucking... I just need to get out of my own head about that game. told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected. If Revan and Malak found something there... Uh, yeah, they seem to be searching for something. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. I'm having visions now? You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force. And each other. This is not unheard of. <gasps> Connections often form between Master and Student. But rarely does a bond develop so We're like Rey and Kylo Ren. Whatever dangers may lie ahead. We're in love. We cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Together. Is she my soulmate? Are you saying I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. Oh. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. Yeah, it's a bit of a party. The way of the light is a bit of a Debbie Down. You must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? I will try my best. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. This is hidden? Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. But only two there are. <laughs> Lie. Do not fear, masters. I will not fall. I'm clearly lying as I say this. Why is that a lie? <laughs> Why do I have to... If I want to say that, I have to be lying. <laughs> I couldn't possibly mean that. Uh, Jedi are turning to the, the dark side? The dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. Mm. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Okay. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted, and perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Okay. The force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. Oh wow, really? But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Is it? Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. Uh, 
And you're probably right, you're probably right. You must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. Really? I can only hope you will prove up to the task. Man, you guys, you guys are putting a lot of faith in me. To walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the order. Meditation will teach you to ch channel the power of the to truly understand the way of the Jedi. You must open your mind to knowledge. You must read books. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of a Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not, not be afraid to t turn to her when you need help in your training. The way, the way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you, you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. In all my years, I have never seen one who has I'm sorry it's cutting out like that. training so, so quickly. You have done in weeks what, what many cannot do in years. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan. I'm not sure why it's doing that. The lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. I have some ideas. Um, it seems to mostly happen uh, in those pre-rendered cutscenes, which might have to do with the disc, the disc skipping, you know, reading problems. I might have to clean the uh, the viewer there. I've tried it with a PS2, and I've literally bought like a refurbished PS2, and uh, it's just hard. It, it's just the consoles. But this is actually I'm playing this actually on an Xbox 360. Um, which I had hoped would make it so it worked better. I've had problems with the original Xbox as well. Um, but I guess this is terribly uninteresting. I'm sorry. Um, what must I do to prove myself? In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Uh, what kind of tests are these? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. Whose apprentice First, am I? I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Um, is there possibly anything else I could do in order to... I, I'm ready, I guess. Like, what else? Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Um, I want to ask some questions. Few mention those names around here anymore. But I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But I perceive the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil, one I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. What happened? The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their mm, eyes. Understandable. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson, but to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat the Council feared had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. 
Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed, many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from the Mandalorian threat. What happened to this noble mission? They were mission? foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan, Malak, and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something erupted them. Their ideals became twisted, their spirits were tainted, and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this, a lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will heed the lesson, Master You have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? As a matter of fact, I am. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. I mean, worthy. except for apprentice, right? In the traditions and customs of our, our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Among the Jedi. <laughs> Uh, what kind of tests? Didn't I already ask this? What kind of tests? I'm ready. I'm ready. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mm -hmm. mental and physical. Mm -hmm. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from a pretty said this, bro. to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. Uh huh. First, oh, apprentice is technically your not a Jedi. Knowledge I guess. of the Jedi code. These tenets must always guide your actions in everything you do. You must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code by completing these fundamental precepts of our order. There is no emotion. Uh, God, I actually have no idea. Should I know this? Racking my brain, racking my brain. There is no emotion. Uh, there is peace? Unless every answer is just supposed to be the force? That would also make sense. The opposite of emotion is peace, I would think. Uh, there is serenity? I, in the context he's using it, I would say. There's knowledge. Knowledge, I don't know. I don't know about that one. It makes kind of sense as it is a opposite of emotion as well, but... Justice doesn't. Harmony doesn't. Peace makes sense. There's peace. There is no ignorance. There's no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There's no passion. Serenity? There is... Serenity. There is no chaos. There is no chaos. Uh, the opposite of chaos would be peace. But uh, won't let me pick peace here. Serenity would also work there. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is no death. There is justice. That is not correct, apprentice. Fuck. Perhaps you are not yet ready for this challenge. Did I just miss the last one? There is one? no shame in admitting weakness. Feel free to speak to the other Jedi in the Academy if you require assistance. They I felt like I was doing a good job. Their knowledge with you. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. May the Force be with you. <clears throat> Thank you, Master Zar. I'll go talk to the other Jedi and they'll tell me exactly the words I need to memorize. This is like... This is like when I was in Boy Scouts and they made me... If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. 
<clears throat> and they made me uh, memorize a whole... Like, one of the things was just, like, a whole list of words. Like, Boy Scouts are thrifty, brave. Th I, re I always remembered thrifty. Thrifty, brave, cool, epic, smart. And it's just a big, long list of words that you had to memorize in a very specific order. And that one sucked. That was, like, the worst thing you had to memorize. <clears throat> uh, loyal. Brave. I don't remember the rest. Um, trustworthy. Honest. Uh, you know, I wasn't I was in Boy Scouts, Greetings, guys. young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. <clears throat> I am eager to learn, Master of Dorak. Course, I could not tell you the entire history of our order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with the War of Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side and led an army against the Jedi and the Republic. Mm -hmm. Exar Kun was defeated, but the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years, we struggled to rebuild trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. What does that have to do with Revan and Malak? All things in time. You shall learn that history is an intricate weaving of many events. No one thing can be understood without the proper context. Twenty years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. They were careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. Yeah, see, this has always been the big conflict of the uh, Jedi Order and the Republic, is that they are in, ingrained within each other, and so the Jedi only really uh, interfere in things that affect the Republic. Um, this, is, this is kind of where it goes to explaining why uh, why Anakin kind of ended up falling to the dark side in the end was because he disagreed with the way the Jedi Order did things. Um, they should have protected them. Well, you can hardly blame the Republic. The memory of war was fresh in everyone's mind, and nobody was eager to relive the horrors in a campaign against the Mandalorians. But in the end, it was unavoidable. The I guess that falls on the Republic, though. resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for a massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. Did the Jedi join in? The Republic petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict so soon after it's the, the bureaucracy. War it's an issue. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join in the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action. Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause, and against the wishes of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. I guess that's a great 
crux of the problem is like with Jedi, anybody that's headstrong and in it for pride or, you know, a go-getter tends to fall to the dark side just seems to be a common thing so the Jedi are like well let's not just let's just not do anything because otherwise we'll be we'll be showing impatience and uh, you know falling prey to our emotions it's a whole kind of a catch-22 isn't it um how did Revan fall to the dark Revan side? Revan and Malak were heroes, the great saviors of the Republic. A third of the Republic fleet was under their direct command, and then something happened. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. Perhaps they simply went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Three years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Where did Revan get the ships for the Some Sith of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien design we've never seen before. Ah. The source of this massive fleet is one of the many things about the Sith we cannot explain. It that seems makes impossible sense. to have created it in such so that's a why that ship time, looks so weird and we different. We cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, the bulk of the force were former Republic soldiers who had served under Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. Isn't that ironic? Uh, they they wanted to stop the Mandalorians and ended up kind of for two years the Sith were all doing the but same thing that they did. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. Well, shit, Bastila must be super powerful. In set a then. trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan, as you probably know. She was there at Revan's end. But Malik's still that out there. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself, though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Mm. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. What can I learn from Revan's history? Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. Hmm. Where are the academies? Uh, I will think on this. May the Force be with. You. Oh, I, I, I kind of assumed that would end the conversation, but Greetings, I do want to know where the archives apprentice. are. Have you, as chronicler of the, you should ponder the history. Uh, where are the Academy's archives? This facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. We must protect over-eager Padawans from mm, being exposed to dangerous a good knowledge. Sign. The I get it, I get it. The a noble goal, but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. I mean, when you say things like that, it just makes you me think you did some dark-ass shit. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't understand. You need, you need wisdom to to, to understand why, why you you shouldn't have this knowledge. It's like you know, 
<clears throat> May the force be with you. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. Same time, there's certain things, you know, evening, it does make apprentice. sense to... I trust your training goes well. But... My training is progressing quite well. I have faith that you will achieve the rank of Padawan soon. Thanks, little Yoda man. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress. May the Force be with you, Apprentice. And also with you. <laughs> Good evening, Apprentice. I, I feel like they... they, they, they well. That is not something they ever said. Because it's like a... I don't know. It's like a religious thing. But I, they did say it in The Mandalorian. I don't know if they ever say that in the movies. Like you're, And also with you. Do they say that? Anyways. I'll shut up. I need to shut up. <laughs> I seek knowledge of the Jedi. All Jedi must know the code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our order. Think and meditate on these truths, apprentice. There is no emotion. There is peace. All right, I got that right. There is no right. ignorance. Got that right. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. Okay. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. I have faith that you will achieve okay, the right that's of Padawan easy. soon. Death in the Master Force was not what is I was most putting together. Impressed with your progress. May the Force be with you, Apprentice. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave when you should be busy studying your lessons. God damn, why, why do you suck so much, dude? My training is going well. It appears that soon you will achieve the rank of Padawan. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress, but I cannot help but wonder if you. I'm gonna turn to the dark side just because of this guy, and it's gonna be your fault. I'm gonna say on I'm only on the dark side because of, of this enclave, Victor guy who is kind of an asshole. Studying your lessons, and uh, that's the only reason. And he's gonna feel so bad. He's gonna be in the history books. She turned to the dark side because Victor, what's his face, was kind of an asshole. Uh. I would like to ask I some questions. I suppose such desires are inevitable, though I fear you may seek knowledge for which you are not prepared. Yet I will do my best to guide your quest. Um, what can you tell me about Bastilla? Bastilla, the young Jedi holds great promise and great danger. She can do much for both the Republic and the Council. Without her skill in battle meditation, the Sith Armada would have conquered the galaxy long ago. But despite her command of the Force, Bastilla is still young. She is a Jedi, but she has not attained the rank of Master. The Council would do well to remember this before we lay the fate of the galaxy on her slender shoulders. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. The Force is strong with you, but you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of Revan. I see you insist on. I suppose. Is there anything you tell me about Revan? Revan was once a promising Padawan, but ever eager to learn more about the Force, Revan sought knowledge of ancient Sith magics, foolishly ignoring the dangerous lure of the dark side. When the Mandalorian invasion came, Revan seized the opportunity it presented. Many Jedi flocked to the Outer Rim to follow the charismatic young knight. And many fell under the sway of the dark side. I do not believe Revan and Malak were corrupted on the Outer Rim. They had begun their journey down the Dark Path long before the Mandalorian threat appeared. Here on Dantooine, they discovered a sinister cave, a place where the strength of the dark side overwhelms the light. Perhaps this discovery was what first corrupted them. Or perhaps they sought the cave out because they were already corrupted. Whatever the explanation, the Order was unable to turn them back to the light. Had the Council taken more decisive action in this matter, perhaps Revan and Malak could have been stopped. But in this we failed. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. 
The Force is strong with you, but you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of Revan. I see you in... I suppose... Uh, you often seem angry with me, Master Brooke. Have I displeased if you? If you find me overly critical, perhaps it is because you do not fully understand what is at stake. For 15,000 years, the Republic has brought peace and stability to the galaxy. Now the Republic may be destroyed because we, the Jedi, have failed them. Revan and Malak were paragons of the ideals the Order seeks to uphold. Yet they succumb to the temptations of the dark side. Hmm. When Revan fell, Malak took up the mantle of Dark Lord of the Sith. Should Malak be stopped, what is to stop another Jedi from taking his place? This is the burden we Masters must carry. Only through strict training and relentless lessons can we prevent the Dark Master from being reborn. That is why the Order can brook no failure in our apprentices and pupils. That is why I can accept nothing but perfection from you. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. The Force is strong with you, but you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of Revan. I see you in... All right, bro. Uh, why are you always criticizing? If you find me... Okay. Now the Rep all right, he's just going to say the same way. There's just two, through strict training. two ways of asking that the same question. The order. You would do well to... Uh-huh. Uh, apprentice. I forgot to ask you questions. A Jedi must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? Uh, what can you tell me about Bastila? Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the Masters and the Council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the art of battle meditation. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? Uh, yeah. I, I did know that. Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying I also saw a vision of it. Wasn't, didn't, Revan or was that something else? The Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you would... Um... Is there anything you can tell me about Revan and Malik? I knew Revan as a promising young pupil. Revan was strong in the Force, but also headstrong and proud. I think I got a spider Such bite on my are not unusual neck. in a Padawan. Perhaps that was why I did not see the true extent of the danger. Many of the young Jedi kind of admired Revan, including Malik. When Revan set off to challenge the Mandalorians, Malik was the first to join the cause. Uh -huh. And when Revan fell to the dark side, it was inevitable Malik would fall as well. Mm hmm. Uh, are you saying Revan. So Revan was stronger than Malik. Are you saying Revan was responsible for Malik? Revan was always the leader, the more powerful of the pair. When Revan fell, we had hoped the Sith threat was ended. But Malak quickly assumed Revan's role, and has embraced the dark side power as fully as his old master ever did. Now, Malak leads the Sith Armada against the Republic. Hate and vengeance for his master's death draw Malak ever further down the path of the dark side, fueling his powers until they surpass those of his old master. Mm. Only you and Bastila together can Stop Malak now. Thank you guys for believing in me. Difficult for young Bastila, and for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you? 
Uh, Master Vrook doesn't seem to like me very much. Master Vrook may seem harsh and critical, but he understands the dangers that lie in your path. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you finally face Lord Malak. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila, and for you. But you must draw straight. Well, you Is there that. anything else you would? Um, I seek knowledge of the Jedi Code. Not really. Very well. You already told me the Jedi Code. Um, I didn't mean to talk to you. You don't talk much, do you? I wanted to talk to Basil actually. If you have questions, you. Okay, Basla, way to be completely unhelpful. Um, I think I have memorized the Jedi Code, bro. Greetings. Can you believe it? Soon, in the tradition, these tests. First, I will. You must now prove you have. Uh -huh. There is no emotion. There is no mo emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. No ignorance. No knowledge. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is no passion. I believe I got this right before. It was serenity. There's no there serenity. There is no chaos. There's no chaos. There's harmony. There is, there is no, no death. death. There is the force. You have learned your studies well, apprentice. I know. It will I'm not very be good long at this sort of thing. You are a full member of our order. Uh huh. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi, the very symbol of our order. The lightsaber. The yeah. lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. I'm a, a I'm a dual a wielder. Skill, dedication, and dual authority. wield. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made up of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. Mm -hmm. As the second test, each Jedi must oh. construct her lightsaber with her own hands. That's true. I forgot. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Oh, that's sick. I want two, though, because uh, I'm a dual. I'm a dual wielder. That's kind of my calling. I want two. Can I make two? That's what I want to do. Uh, and I want them to be different colors, because that would be epic. Uh, Dorak. Ah. You have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. Mm -hmm. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Um, what colors are there? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. Oh! If this Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Well, I wanted to ask the other questions as well, though. Um, uh, hold on. Let me just re-go over this again. My, before I make a decision, I think I wanted to be a guardian, but it's either guardian or consular, because I think the sentinel focuses on attributes, and I don't care about that. Yeah, I think uh, guardian is, is the way to go. That's blue, right? Um, Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class. I do want to know why I can only have one, but I guess he. Answered a woman that. and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Um. I will stop the thugs and find out why they are attacking her. Uh, I mean, I could try to look up what the answers are. Uh, I could also try to think about this. A Jedi Guardian seeks to uh, use the lightsaber, 
right? Um, yeah, I'll stop the thugs and find out why they're attacking her. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Uh, I would try to turn him. I don't think it would work, but he may as well try, right? Yes, I suspected as much. Oh, you think you know me, the huh? Question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do Kinda you do? I hoped I would just be able to choose. Uh, there's a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. Smash it down, probably not. Try to pick the lock. Uh... I mean, if you're asking me what the first thing I would do is, maybe try to knock. I feel like that would be a good thing to just try first off. It's probably the best thing you could, you could do to see if I'm going to knock. I'm beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. Mm -hmm. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Uh, hunt them down, try to lure them out into a trap. Coordinate with the planetary government to identify the infiltrators. That sounds like the best yes, option to I me. Thought as, much. as I suspect, I don't want to be a consular. Suitable as a Jedi consular. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? I wanted to be a guardian. Here is a blue crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to the <laughs> no, master. Okay, that dude just gets a pick. All right, <laughs> I'm a guardian. In how to construct it. Cool. Oh, we got a whole heck of a lot of freaking level ups from that.